Hello, the video I reviewed this week details a conversational interview between Master Chef and author Paul Nyson and Dr. Brian Clement, director of the world's first residential health institute located in Boston, Massachusetts. Raw Food Vegan Hippocrates Institute grand opening took place during the 1970s by a vision and passion of Ann Wickmore, a strong advocate and pioneer of the raw food movement for over 35 years. Hippocrates means ancient doctor who studies and teaches medicine. Dr. Brian Clement, has been the director of the Institute for more than 40 years. The Institute has 65 years of clinical research. They also have an assistant director who speaks more than eight languages so that the needs of the people who come there from all over the world with great expectations of getting well will have their needs met. People make their way to the Institute for various health reasons, but the main two are age and disease prevention and those who are very ill. People have been healed from cancer, cardiovascular issues, multiple sclerosis, Parkinson's disease, and type 2 diabetes. Three topics of interest were the immune system, sugar, and B12. Dr. Clement said that lack of rest, lack of sleep, lack of good relationships, lack of not eating the correct things, and lack of not being passionate about the things we do can break the immune system down. And when the immune system has been broken down, it will cause negative effects to the body. Dr. Clement said that sugar is like dope, very addictive, more addictive than cocaine. He said if we take sugar out of our diet, it will decrease our chances of getting cancer, high blood pressure, picking up viruses, bacteria, funguses, and mold. Regarding B12, Dr. Clement said that people get dementia because they lack the nutrient B12. If you want a new, better mental and physical you, Put Raw Food Vegan Hippocrates Institute, located in Boston, Massachusetts, on your radar, on your calendar, and label it as urgent. The sooner we begin treating our bodies with TLC, tender loving care, the sooner we can take care of some tasks, assignments, and fulfill some of those desires without having uncomfortable physical interruptions. Signing off, Brenda Mills.